What's up my friends? Welcome back. We're playing as the Terran Empire. I'm Daily Fix. I forgot to mention it so many times because I'm doing the same, the same stream. Yeah, the same stream. So yeah, I uh, I did go around and uh, this will ch be changed relatively soon. The quarters in and I, what I did is, uh, have been made this is so annoying. This is on Bolex. Uh, let's go to Bolex. Let's see what we can do about this. It's it's this thing, right? Ruler jobs are done. Specialist job. It will have to start climbing. <sighs> Do we really need to get like agony chambers in here? I think so. Let's get agony chambers here. Let's make sure these guys will remember to stay in their place. Ah, uh, so the courtesan will go because the growth speed of my empire is. It's something I want to cry over in it tonight when I go to bed and sleep. We also got some promising candidates, Salik, and as well as uh, as as Doctor Noon. Not in here though. I don't think it's uh, it's like that. But we can actually uh, get them, and they're really nice. So I wonder if they will age in this uh, entire process. But we'll wait until one of my scientists dies, and I think Salik actually is a governor. He is a governor. And I'm thinking about getting the righteous governor. And we'll put him in charge of this region. And that should help with some of the crime. There you go. So that will go away. Is there one without a sector? Cancel that. Without a governor. That is what I wanted to do. One of them was a substance abuser, wasn't it? Yeah. Let's get rid of you. And let's get Diego in charge over there. Let's get rid of this. So we got Salek now. We are currently... Ships have been made apparently losing energy credits. Interesting. Uh, these things will change. Uh, the prison complex is going to look relatively nice. For what something that is nice can be. There is a conflict erupted between the Klingons and the Garons. So between these two. Yeah, that doesn't look good for the Garons. Uh, we do want to make sure that they don't grow too big. So perhaps going with the Sonic Command and make them a vassal as well. And this is a fallen empire over here. And then uh, I don't see my vassal having a fleet. And that's probably because he is still disloyal. Also, I want to go to war with these guys to make them vassals. They can all be vassals to, uh, to what? I thought it's something that isn't important between episodes. Okay, that's cool. Okay, I'll, uh, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. So, let's see if we can actually fix the economy. Uh, as well, the, uh, the the stability is a bit, bit annoying. As well as this. This this is really annoying. Let's just get the alloy so I don't sit on 10k while losing money. And... We apparently are still able to reinforce. Why? No, that is definitely not true. Let's get rid of that. So, basically, I'm over. I'm 173. So, you need to be lowered. So, that fixes a lot of these issues. Where's my other fleet? I have another fleet. Really, there you are. Of course, there you are. This makes no sense. Let's get rid of these small, uh, small non-existent fleets. Yeah, there's a bit, a bit, a bit of a thing going on with the um, the fleet manager. I can't say I really enjoy that. So here we go. So we were going to change this. So, intermediate class. Apparently, you don't have any. Then what the hell is this? There's five of you. You got zero five. This really makes no sense. Why is this? Okay, let's um, let's do it like this. This is the Bonneture, and this is the Eminent and the Interpret. So actually, this is the newer version. Let's merge those up. Hopefully now, this uh, triggers this. Now it doesn't. Oh, that is annoying. Okay, there we go. Don't ask me how. It worked. So let's get up to 10 frigates. 
the annex class as well as the multi ship I want three of those and the rest can be the smaller ships that should be enough 165 164 uh, we need about 6k of alloys now we don't have that yet we know let's get bunker network and uh, right now I'm also working on supplies on some of these planets. Hopefully they will do that as well. Passing trader. A humanoid trader has approached one of the trading outposts of the Terran Empire and offered us a artifact that supposedly bring time bent time for a set period. Hmm. Let's see. Now, who would be foolish enough to, to make a fool of the Terran Empire? Hmm. I kind of think I want to get for this one. You know, it's just... I think it will break down. Relic found. It's a bargain. Let's purchase it. Let's take a look. Since I do like my relics. Time Crystal. So, do we have a passive effect? Time Crystal production is plus one. And if we activate it, an event the Time Crystal device happens. I kind of want to wait with that until our fleet is ready. So, right now we're creating Time Crystals. And the Terran Empire, they did send others to the mirrored image for them because for them this is the regular uh, galaxy so i'm interested about that ah oh, man we need one more to actually help with this plus 12 wow look at that growth speed it's a bloody joke forced growth forced growth Oh, wow. So they don't like it when you do that. Oh, I hate that. I am not happy about that. Uh, let's go with the tile blocker. Aggression negotiating. Okay, cool. Contact primitives. Aggressive negotiation. The Terran Empire's intelligence have detected a planet with an unusual high concentration of dilithium deposits on the surface. Set a course. Uh, let's see. Show all on the map. It's all the way over here. Uh, have an admiral in orbit. So... We can't go there because there's no way we can go in the, here. Ah, oh, that is going to be annoying. Oh, well, it is what it is. Nothing we can do about it. So, you... I told you to go there but of course the Romulans beat us to it it's fine let the Romulans expand into this direction so Our eventually oh wow us. look at that economy Perhaps is superior fools. Ooh, interesting let's declare you rivals 4,000 throats may be cut in one night by a running man let's see we do need to um, boost our fleet a lot more these ships cannot be upgraded because, they, you know, they, they no longer exist. So we'll have to deal with that. I don't want to get rid of them because, well, they are still part of our fleet. Let's go with research station output. You need a specialist over here badly. Do we have some unemployment here? You do. The force growth has been killing me. But if I don't, then the AI is going to make all of these people we can't go for. And I feel bad about that, because I want to put them to work. Because it's important that we do. Let's see, 504, someone should be using that at some point. So for now, they will just have to deal with the fact that some don't have work. Yeah, we cannot we can upgrade this, but it's it's no use. Stability is quite low. Perhaps we just replace you. 
with more energy. I think that might be the better uh, better idea. There's a Vulcan here without a job. Okay, so we're going to be resettling you. We'll resettle you to Boliax indeed. Where's that Vulcan? Oh, it is on Boliax. Where's that weird ass planet? Special Could you go away? Complete. Thank you. Um, let's see, where are you? It's the one with the weird ass name, with the L, this one. Oh, you actually have administrators. Morit. Yeah, maybe that's the one. Morit, Morit, Morit. You. Yeah, you're lacking an admin here. Administrator, that should help the uh, stability on Morit. And we knew we do need to make these supplies. We we need to focus on that because it's been dragging the economy down. I don't like it. You know the easiest option for us would be to make everyone a resident. But that would be just ruining the point of the entire Terran Empire. Let's take a look at species here. If they just went to do these jobs, that would save us a lot. And we do need to get some dilithium, since it's on a, well, quite a low spectrum there. Let's go for the lighter hull construction. By selecting this specialization, we order our scientists to focus their energies to develop materials that are progressively lighter, yet still remain their durability. So... Smaller, faster, nimbler ships. No. Heavily armored. Sturdy vessels, increasing hull value. Focus on cheaper fleets. No. No, 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 no. Let us go for armored hull construction. And we'll focus on... Pulse wave torpedoes, I guess. The energy is going to run out in 112 months. Wow, you are really set on these messages. So if we stop grow a force, forcing you to grow, will this start helping? It will be doing that. Sorens. Okay, well, we just have to play with it and see what will happen. But this will mean that we'll have to do a very annoying amount of specialization where we have to make sure there's always an admin present. Because if I do that over here, they start getting these, these people we, we can't use. But we'll do it, we'll do it. We'll see if that will uh, help. Well, it did help in some of these planets. Oh yeah, it helped a big ass amount. Fine, we'll keep it like this. We'll keep it like that. Um, res that is done. This is getting lowered, that is nice. Can I get a Terran in the admin? Let's resettle you to where we have most jobs here. There we go. And let's get a artisan over here. And we're going to be making you into a ruler. There you go. That should be lovely. You should be happy. Happy is all that we need. Ruler, we got some specialists. Are we building the agony chamber? 
No. We should. We'll get some more... Uh, some more pops. And we'll still force deterrence. Eventually we could let that go. Ah... Uh, Uh, thank you, Enek, for the announcement. And you are completely right. <sighs> okay, so by we could change this. Since we don't have any slaves over here, let us replace you with industrial complex that should help and it is a penal colony so we might want to change that back there we go uh, that should just help with the stability there there's nothing over here uh we can just uh, remove these oh they are being removed right now Yeah, without, without slaves there, there's no real point in having a penal colony, I guess. Wow, they just don't take these uh, regular jobs well, though, they? They don't. Civilian industries in 90 days, that would def definitely help. Okay, what's your... Oh, yeah, that's still so annoying. Let's upgrade that. And why are you so low? The Seaborn. Cool name though. But I'd rather have it that you just uh, integrate yourself into, you know, a fleet that actually could work. Relic activation has become available. And I still want to go for more unity. Uh, 24 months and I'm hoping to get strength done. I will do domination. I don't think it does do as much as I hope. Then probably harmony. Uh, frontier discovery, diplomacy, something like that. We'll just see. So let's get more of these goods. Sell you. Sell this. And get 500 of that. Let's do this. So we do want to get started on doing... Mm. Oh, oh yeah, very well. Yeah, yes. we're going to be uh, vesselizing this guy. Can we do this? If we were to war deck him, humiliate. Oh, we could humiliate you, that is for sure. We need to get our science up. That is our problem. That's a big ass problem, though. Pathetic equivalent. Oh, they're starting to catch up. I hate it. How about you? Demand Vesselization. Let's do it. Let's demand Vesselization from you. Pulse Wave Torpedoes have been done. Let's get Photon Torpedoes Type 4. Demanding Vesselization has failed. Let's get our ships over here. I'm going to be disbanding this fleet. And there's a Pox Outbreak. So we get a special project. The, can we can we just we cannot disband these ships? That is annoying. Okay, let's pause here for a second. So we have a pox outbreak. Uh, where are my scientists and where actually is the outbreak? That's over there. That means you research that project. Both of you. No, 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 no. You go ahead and do automatic exploration. You are in the soul system because I'm a dum dum and I did not put you on. Assist, assisting the research. With all of that done, that's nice. And we will make sure that our ships get there. Let's get our armies as well. And we'll be going to war with these. Uh, the reason I want to is because I like to have a strong border. <laughs> with the edge of the galaxy. And it does give us some interesting points against the, um, the Klingon Empire. 4, which have an inferior fleet apparently. Wow, they are pathetic. Inferior. Inferior. Oh no, pathetic is lower than that. Mm. Our enemies fear us. Yes, that's great. Let's reinforce this. Mm. 
Is it once again an, Ill, an edict? Now we're already doing the capacity overload, which is actually quite, quite sad. Okay, so we have some options here. The chase. Um, as soon as the final door is breached in the defense, fail, uh, fall quiet. Um, as Aura's back enters the command center of the facility, the mummified remains of a humanoid live in the center of the chamber. And upon scanning the body, Horst Becker appears to activate another hologram message. Oh man. Let's see, it springs to life and a feminine voice begins. You're wondering who we are, why we have done this, how it, have come, uh, how it has come that I stand before you. Not really. I imagine um, the image of a being from so long ago. Life evolved on, the, on my planet before all others in this part of the galaxy. We left our world, explored the stars and found none like ourselves. Oh, that, that is... A dangerous thought, or actually a, a lonely thought. Our civilization thrived for ages, but what is life for one race compared to the vast stretches of cosmic life, of cosmic time? We knew that one day we would be gone. That and why actually? Why why would you knew knew that would happen? That's so weird. If you're the first one, why would you be gone? That nothing of us would remain. So. We left you, our scientists need, our scientists seeds to primordial ocean for many worlds. Apparently, okay, so, when li oh, so they are the bringers of life, the seed coded, this is, okay. Uh, well, we're not, this is nonsense, we are the superior race. Now, we'll keep the data for ourselves. Okay, so... The chase will happen in free. The information found in the archives being used for our own purposes, advanced technologies, apparently. Interesting, I guess. And that should leave this scientist without a job. Let's see. Are they now starting to be assaulting? Not yet. Where is the gateway? Go to. That's over here. Which is not in my territory yet. Move over there. What we're lacking here is alloy, so once that ship is there, we should have enough to actually take this system and to have another of those uh, of those dig sites. Hmm. Let's see. Supplies again. This this is really annoying. The supplies is really annoying, but then again, it is what it is. Breakthrough achieved. Uh, more tile blockers. Let's get more tile blockers. And yeah, so we uh, we did start uh, the war again with another species, one that is going to be vassalizing. Uh, the outbreak, it, it is a tragedy. Uh, a pure you Vulcan talk, has died. I'm kind of hoping that this guy... No yeah, thank you for reminding me that I talk and talk and ramble. I'm hoping he will be loyal soon so he can actually start a fleet. So next time, actually, next time we are going to be um, continuing the stream as well because I will be ending the stream as well. Uh, but for those of you who are on YouTube, we are going to be um, starting this war. Come on, man, just get one more tick. One more, I will need you loyal. See, because it actually changed by nothing. That is so annoying. Why do you not become loyal? Oh, well, it is what it is. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. The fleets are there. The war is going to get started, and I'm looking forward to this. Just another empire as a vassal, and we can start focusing on our our eastern fronts, northern fronts to get to the galactic core. That would be interesting. We'll be stretching out, and we just go counterclockwise or uh, clockwise. I don't know. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you next time. Have a good one. Bye bye.